checking in, getting ready to pick up this, uh, pick up our cabin right here. We'll be posting this video of the drive back. Hey guys, getting it on the truck. Rusty over there getting it done. We'll follow the process when we get home and show you when we set it up. Here she goes. Okay, sweetie, you got your little cabin. What do you think? Okay, guys, Rusty got it all loaded. We're fixing to head to the homestead and install this on our property and so we'll video that and we'll see you in a minute that's what's underneath 16 on centers and that's the rear Okay, here we go guys, we're going to follow Rusty, let's hope we don't get into any trouble with limbs or power lines. I probably should have maybe went up and looked. We're gonna follow close behind here, so and some low limbs, but I think we're gonna be okay. Rusty's got that trailer that moves over hydraulically, so he don't have to back up or anything. He can just move it, so that's pretty cool. He's good at what he does. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Headed back to the homestead, guys. Gonna be a new project here. Our little cabin. It's a beautiful place here that we got this cabin. It's 73 acre farm. Beautiful. Hate to leave it. Beautiful pasture land. This is out towards uh, uh, Ashland City. Cooper oh, Cooperstown, yeah, Tennessee. It's, about, it's only 20 minutes from our, our house. We cleared everything, so we're headed back, and then uh, I'll film when we get back to the homestead. We'll see you guys in a minute. As we made it back to the homestead, Rusty's pulling it at the end, and we'll see how this goes. That's cool, that trailer that moves over hydraulically. That thing will slide over, it's pretty cool how they do it. You can just inch it over. Slowly but surely, it's a tight squeeze. Trying to get that trailer turned to come over in this area right here. Because an RV will be going over in that other way, other space where that wall is. So slowly he's getting it. Sliding her on over hydraulically. Gonna come right in this area right here.
Okay, here she comes. We got to get it straightened out and then blocked up. Getting her in, getting her in. Okay guys, they finally got it delivered and set up. Uh, we ran out of blocks, so they're coming back tomorrow and putting, uh, it sits 16 inches off the ground so we can get up on it and put our plumbing. They're gonna put uh, some more two strands of uh, blocks underneath, under the beams. 16 on centers on the uh, cross uh, uh, two by fours under there, and then it's got four by four um, skids on it so there it sits perfectly level they're gonna block the front of the uh, porch and Rusty said it set perfectly level the door opens I'll take you on the inside so there you go now let the work begin so uh, let's step up on the porch I'm gonna have to put some stairs there So this used to be a tack room for horses, uh, had saddles in it, and it was a tack room. So uh, it's not huge, but uh, it's kind of like a tiny home. It does have a tall ceiling, has uh, seven foot uh, walls. So back here will go a shower and a toilet. That will be the bathroom. That'll probably be the only wall. Then we'll have a bed over here. Then the great thing about it, it has a 100 amp panel already uh, wired with electric. We'll have to put a couple of other uh, plugs in. You got plugs here, got plug here, light switches here, got plug there. It's got six lights up there. So anyway, Patty's already got a design for this little thing, and uh, it'll have a it'll have a little small love seat with a little table that attaches to the wall, and uh, we'll probably put a another window up in there or probably some type of ventilation. We may have to put a ridge vent. It's already cut out for it, and then that right there is going to come out. If you have a bed up there, that's a loft. You have to be able to get out of it. So there it is, guys. And it faces the road here. There's the main road. And then it that's our driveway. And then this is our other RV spot right here. There's our hookups. We'll have to get this hooked up to... Uh, there's our septic drains. And there's our... Uh, electrical pole that'll have to run a wire to the uh, to the little cabin it's kind of how it looks from the side so that's what it looks like in the back rusty tines always does a great job of he's he's uh, delivered all three of our sheds this makes the fourth one well this is really a cabin cabin shed so that's it guys excited about getting in there and uh that's where the uh electric came in there's conduit that fits in that hole so i've got it inside the shed so when they do that they'll just run it to there inside the panel sits right in here 
So we'll do some skirting. I've got some fence wood that I'm going to stain and put around this. We'll put some stairs right here. And we'll get electric ran to it. And we'll get in there and start working on it. Guys, that's it for this video. I am burning up. It's 94 degrees here in Nashville. So thanks for watching this little teaser uh, video on our little cabin. And uh, we'll be back with more of the progress. It's going to take us a while to get this thing uh, livable. And uh, we'll be showing you some more videos. So thanks for joining us right here at our Backwoods Homestead. We'll see you on the next video.